this is chapter 3, problem 41. So we take the ground to be zero level. We make up positive the velocity is horizontal so thus it doesn't have any vertical component so the vertical initial velocity is equal to zero to solve for time we use the equation y equals our final height minus initial height plus initial velocity in the y direction times t plus one half times the acceleration in the y direction times t squared. The initial vertical velocity goes to zero. Initial height is 950 meters. So for how long is the jumper in free fall? When she opens her chute, she's 150 meters. Starting from a height of 910 meters, so if her final height is 150 meters, reason being she's in free fall until she's 150 meters. So her initial height is 910 meters and her final height is 150 meters. Final height, 150 meters equals initial height, 910 meters plus, well, down is negative, so there's a negative 9.80 meters per second squared times t squared. G is negative because g is acting down, g is constant. Solving for time, that is equal to 2 change in distance, 150 minus 910, divided by acceleration due to gravity, second square, and that is equal to 12.45 second. And if you round that down to 266, it's approximately 12.0 seconds or just 12 seconds. That is how long she was in free fall. For B, how far from the cliff is the jumper when she opens her chute? So starting from a point, ending at a point, she starts from zero. Her final point is going to be r, which is the range. Final point minus initial point is going to equal to just r. So r minus zero is r. And to get the distance, we would use the initial velocity, the x component of that velocity, times the time she spent in the air. So her range is going to equal 5.0 meters per second times 12.45 seconds. And her range is going to equal 62.25 meters. Sig fig, 62 meters. The horizontal motion is at a constant speed since air resistance is being ignored. That is it.